Hey, good evening. All right, so tonight we are talking about infections, infected wounds. So maybe you are home and you have had a procedure and you are not sure if this is infected or not. So let's talk about that a little bit. I've been seeing a lot of Facebook posts and messages and that seems to be a huge concern for a lot of people. So if you're seeing this, if you know someone that is dealing with a wound and they're not sure about it, please share this with them. I appreciate it. Um, if you jump on any likes and loves, uh, hashtag replay if you catch it on the replay. Um, so how do we know if a wound is infected? Well, basically, what is an infection? There is too much bacteria for your immune system to um, get rid of on its own. So it manifests into an, an infection. And basically, either it happened, um, some people get infected during procedures, that would be very bad for whoever did your procedure, but it does happen. There's lots of policies in place that hopefully it doesn't, but some people do get infected um, during a procedure or shortly after um, from the care that they receive, but a lot of times it happens after care. So one of the biggest things that you can do to prevent an infection is keep your wound covered. So yes, <laughs> keep your wound covered. Use a dressing, keep it covered. If it's open to the air, it's open to the environment, and there's all sorts of things floating around in the air. Our hands are dirty. Um, what we brush into is dirty, and we're basically just introducing bacteria that our body cannot handle. And if you've had a procedure, your immune system is kind of down anyway, so it's like a bad time to do that. The only time um, we really keep a wound open to the air is if it was stitched closed, and there's no drainage or anything coming out. So really that skin has started to already like stick together and there's a nice seal, then we can leave it open to air. But other than that, we're going to keep our wounds covered. That is your biggest protection against infection. So keep your wounds covered. It is a total wives tale that you should leave it open to air. Um, sometimes things get a little soupy and we might wanna like let it dry out a little bit, but in general, your wound is going to heal faster. It's going to have less pain. There's going to be less scarring if you keep your wound covered. So go ahead and do that. And I'll talk another day about um, what to cover what to cover wounds with. Um, of course, if anyone is having like an immediate need, I do um, video consults and Facebook consults. So I'm more than happy to um, jump on a private call if someone's having an immediate need. But We'll talk about what dressings to do another time. So let's say um, we're gonna leave our stitches covered. Let's see. So how do you know if your site's infected? So big typical signs, redness, pain, swelling, increased drainage. Those are all signs that your wound might be infected. The other thing is like tingling feeling. I've had like an infected cuticle and I've had people talk about that and you could just tell like it was tingling, the little swelling, like if you can't move, you know, like this joint's not moving as much as it should or like then the other ones next to it, you know, wherever your incision happens to be, just kind of take note if it's moving like it was yesterday, if it's, if it's infected, things are gonna progressively get worse unless you treat it. So that tingling wouldn't go away, it would be getting worse. That pain would be getting worse. The redness would be getting redder. The drainage would be more. So we wanna really pay attention. And sometimes it's a little tough, um, especially if, you know, after a procedure, you're on some medications and you're feeling a little loopy, you might not totally be able to tell. Um, let's see if I can get this. So I have a friend that had a wound she sent me, oops, I hit something. Where'd it go? I had it before. Okay, so she had sent me this picture and she was worried like if it was infected. And so what she was gonna do is go ahead and make a circle around that red area because sometimes it looked better than others. So she was gonna try to um, monitor it. And that's one way that we do that 
in a clinic is we might mark it around. Um, so you can always go ahead and draw a circle on your area um, on the outside of the wound on the intact skin that looks a little red. That's going to give you like a visual cue like, oh, shoot, this thing looks worse or, oh, this thing looks better. So, yep, you can definitely do that. Um, sometimes people are going to have a silent infection or a blunted immune response. Hey, Jeremy. So you need to be aware of those things. Like if you have diabetes, if you have, I know you love when I talk about wounds, if you have diabetes, if you have um, neuropathy, if you're on immunosuppressants, corticosteroids, like I was looking at a list, I can post a link below later um, that will give you an indication maybe your wound won't uh, present, your infection won't present like somebody else. So you just need to be aware of those things. You should have some idea of the medications that you're on and their um, responses. Absolutely let your doctors and surgeons know that. They should have already if you went in for a procedure. Hey, Tony. So definitely keep in mind the medications that you're on because that's greatly going to affect your healing. And sepsis with an infection is always a possibility. So if you leave your infection unchecked, right? You don't, you don't tell anybody about it. You don't do anything about it. You run the risk of going septic. And that basically means the infection is now in your bloodstream. That's bad. <laughs> so you do not want to do that. You want to be monitoring what's going on. You need to get attention. I know a lot of us are trying to DIY things and that's why I do um, video consult. So absolutely something to reach out if you're having an immediate need. Um, so signs of sepsis are going to be fever, um, lower body temp, maybe you're not peeing, you're having nausea, vomiting, you're out of it. That's signs that something may be going on that's um, more than just a little infection in your toe or wherever you had that wound, and now it's time to get some help. So if you're having any of those symptoms of infection, do not call me. Go to the ER, get your MD involved. So absolutely 100% not worth um, your life and your health to avoid taking a little medication. So anyway. Let's say sepsis is not what's going on for you, but you have a cut, you're not sure what's going on, and you're treating it at home. So some of the things you really want to be aware of, if you have an infection, you want to be using an antimicrobial cleanser, you want to use a topical antimicrobial, not Neosporin, not any of the over-the-counter stuff. I can post a link of what I recommend um, when I'm done with this, but um, Anacept is a better over-the-counter product. Um, you can get it on Amazon. I'll post a link below. But here's the thing with using all these antiseptic, antimicrobial things. You do not want to be using them if you don't have signs and symptoms of infection. Just a regular clean old dressing. Keep things moist. It'll heal a lot better. Um, and don't use all these antimicrobials, it's like taking an antibiotic when you're not sick. We don't do stuff like that. That basically just renders these things useless and ineffective. It makes you more susceptible to infection down the line, and then it gets even harder to treat. So I hope you're not dealing with an infection. If you are, if you're not sure if you are, I get pictures all the time and help people all the time with their wounds. And I'm more than happy to help any of you. And you could share this out if you know someone that's suffering. But um, you can get in touch with me through Better Wounds. Usually um, a video consult, like a private one-on-one -on -one consult where we'll go through everything, would be $50. But if you are hearing this through a Facebook Live, I'm going to put a coupon code and a link um, to give you half off. So I just want to reach more of you, help more of you out get you what you need and get you healing and back to doing whatever it is you like to do. So reach out if you need me. I'll post some links below. Thank you for joining me. I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.